hairy vagine, a hairy coochie mama. Oh yeah, like I like when a girl does this and she's got to suck it like that and she's got to bend over like this. I feel like it puts a lot of pressure in a relationship to live up to the standard of how sex is supposed to be. Collect your bag, my good sister. Why can't I be folded like a pretzel? I can be folded like a pretzel. My body and my bones can bend in ways that you ain't never seen. I really know I am, this is for me. welcome back to my youtube channel we are back with another girl talk and i feel like i'd done this one roughly eight months ago where i talked about self-pleasuring but this one's a little bit less about self-pleasuring and more about where the concept of self-pleasuring comes from the idea of where we get our sexual nature from as adults Basically, to put it in layman's terms, I want to talk to you guys about porn alongside things like how porn has affected the way we have sex, the pros and cons of it, if I like it, the right age to start watching it, like all stuff like that. I feel like it's a very taboo subject. I feel like it's not spoken about. I will not be going into any like intricate details about the best types of categories to watch. Mm -hmm. but, gonna but we all know what that is anyway. <clears throat> I was going to do this video with my mum. But I feel like I save, I should save my mum and her opinions for her and my dad and mine's next Say It or Shot It, which will be coming a lot sooner than you guys think, because I know that everyone asked for a round two and we haven't yet done it. So that is what we'll be doing. But yeah, I wanted to talk about it because I feel like it's something that can be really empowering and really nice and, and make you feel really sexual, make you explore your, your sex life and adventure into new realms of different things that you might not realise have turned you on before or made you climax before or just a fetish you might have. But I also feel like it can be really damaging sometimes in relationships. I know it's generally spoken about as to whether porn is like the killer of a relationship or whether it's damaging, especially if it's the man that's watching it. Women, we are not always held as accountable as we should be, but especially typically when men are the ones watching it, it's always spoken about how it can be bad, etc., etc. So we're just gonna explore all avenues. I've got my Starbucks juice here at the ready. No, it is not obviously the Starbucks juice. I think I've got, I think this one is blueberry and blackberry. It's like Robertson's fruit squash. It's extremely, extremely sweet, but hey, we love a sweet bitch. Personally, I think, if I remember correctly, that I started watching porn in my late teens. I'd kind of got wind of what it was. My first boyfriend was when I was 15, 16. He was really the person that kind of introduced me to the concept of porn. Now, we never sat there and just watched it. We didn't really know what to do, but we knew it was a thing. If I remember correctly, the first time I ever actually saw it, I was really creeped out. I was really grossed out. So I just want to say this as a disclaimer, if you are that years, like that years old, that age category, and you feel like you're watching it too late, or you're even older than that, and it's not something that you watch, that is okay. That is absolutely fine. That is perfectly normal. Like porn is not for everybody. If you do not get satisfaction from literally watching other people have sex. <laughs> then that's absolutely fine. I don't want you to feel like because at the age of 16, 17, it didn't turn you on, there's a problem with you. No, that is not the case, it is okay. But I remember personally watching it and being like, I don't really know if this is for me. And even to this very day, I'm now 26 years old, so 10 years. I just don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's just not for me. Like I don't really, I, I'm not really like a regular watcher. And I don't get the gratification from it as a lot of people say they do. Now, I have like mixed feelings when it comes to watching it. Like sometimes I sit there and think, okay, cool. This can teach you a lot. Like you can learn about like a woman's body, different positions, different ways to be pleasured. For women specifically, you can learn when it comes to oral sex, exactly how to please your man and vice versa from men to women. But I also feel like sometimes I don't know how to explain it. Just sometimes I feel like it is not beneficial for women in the videos afterwards. I feel like what we do is we put ourselves in that headspace and think, okay, if he does this, this and this to me, I should feel like this because she's screaming and shouting and moaning like this. And I feel like it puts a lot of pressure on a relationship to live up to the standard of how sex is supposed to be. And it can let you down. It can lead you to disappointment. 
women especially it can make you feel like you're not good enough but also for men if you're not performing in the same way and your woman is not responding the same as they do on a porn website you're also going to be sat there thinking oh my god i'm shitting bad this is just not working out for me but then there's also so many benefits however saying that if you are someone that actually enjoys reenacting how they act in porn that is just the way you like to have sex it's the way you do have sex that is also absolutely fine i just feel like what porn sometimes does is like takes away the romantic side of what sex can potentially be i feel like it's so filled with stories and like fake orgasms and fake moaning and not saying that all of it is but it's just like the time of the whole thing you know you could be watching a porn video for like 35 minutes and in real life your man's only lasting 10 and you're really disappointed but in actuality that's how that's normal like what happens in reality is more normal than what you watch in a video i feel like it, it takes away the caressing and the touching and the the seduction and the art of flirting i feel like for me personally a key to like a healthy sexual relationship you need to be flirting all the time and i feel like when you watch porn and try and relive it sometimes keyword sometimes it can take away from the flirtatious nature and then kind of sometimes break down the romance and don't even get me started on the self-conscious body image it, it leaves on us like I feel like back in the day, like having a hairy vagine, a hairy coochie mama, a little forest down there was absolutely fine. It was sexy, it was seductive, you had a little thing. And then over time it's progressed and it's progressed to having nothing. I am the person that has nothing. And I'm not the person that has nothing for aesthetic reasons. I'm the person that has nothing because I like how light I feel. I like being like a dolphin. But there are people that do it because they think that that is more aesthetically pleasing. Why? Because the more porn we watch, the more bold pussies we see. Let's just keep it real, okay? That's just, that's just what the equation is. The more porn you watch, more time you're gonna see some bold coochie. And therefore you feel like in order to be seductive and look as sexy as a porn star, you also need some bold coochie. When in actuality, from what I hear, when it comes to men, and men correct me if I'm wrong, they actually don't care. You could be hairy, you could be bald, either way, they're getting in and out of that. <laughs> it is okay if you were someone that is really loud during sex, it is okay if you were someone that is quiet, it is okay if you were a man and you moan and you groan and you speak, it is okay if you are someone that doesn't say anything at all. I think what we need to do is just take away the expectations of porn into your actual sex life. I mean, unless you were someone that is literally going to recreate it and you create it very well. But the expectation of it being there, I think, is what needs to just, just disappear and just lessen a little bit. Just to stop breaking everyone's hearts <laughs> and making everyone feel like, oh my God, this is, this is a shit show. Why am I not performing well enough in bed? I am so here for like the whole women empowerment, women expressing and loving and being open and honest with how they feel about their bodies when they are doing porn movies and porn videos and all of that like i love that i think what we are missing from within society and correct me if i'm wrong here babies but i think what we are missing is more real life porn so instead of like made up scenarios like oh my god delivery man came and stuck his dick for a little box and oh my god my stepdad came home and oh my god like instead of stuff like that i feel like we need porn that focuses on real relationships understand the whole realm of porn is that you delve into it and it's supposed to take you away from normality it's supposed to give you mental pleasure and obviously physical when you're touching yourself but i feel like what we could sometimes use is that little bit of more leniency towards the idea of it being similar to real life relationships i find it so crazy how like back in the day if you wanted to watch porn like your parents or your grandparents would have like these dvds or videos and that was the way that you could watch it like it had to be secret and it had to be hidden whereas nowadays sorry phones are in it's just so accessible and so easy for everyone to get access to and sometimes i feel like that's the problem it's almost too easy and my fear is that people from too young of an age and kids from too young of an age are able to access porn whereas back in the day when you were like 15 years old you were like sneaking dvds from your mum's cupboard like oh my god if my mum finds out i've watched this or watching fucking babe station where you literally watch girls on tv like just doing this with a bikini on and you'd start fantasizing in your head about how it was going to actually be when they were naked do you know what i mean let's talk pros and cons we're going to start with the let's start with the negative and then we can end on a positive note like let's just get all the bad stuff out of the way bring it back in deal with the positivity okay let's go bad stuff <clears throat> 
the idea of a warped body image. I feel like I've mentioned this briefly, but the idea that like, if your body doesn't look good enough, that's the reason men are not attracted to you, that that is like, it kind of sets the tone and the standard. A bit like what we've talked about before about the beauty standard within this industry, like porn is a huge factor within that. And it sets the standard of kind of like, this is the level of beauty and body and vagine and how your vagina is supposed to look like i feel like a lot of women look at it and feel like oh my god mama see needs to look like that because it just looks so pleasant on a porn video the idea of it becoming addictive now me personally i don't really have much of an addictive personality like i don't really get addicted to things i'm very easy to just be like oh i don't need it anymore oh i'd love that might go through like a phase of being obsessed with it for like three weeks but i don't get addicted to things and the problem with porn is that because when you watch it, it releases endorphins, it turns you on, it makes you happy, it puts you in a good headspace, that can become addictive. Because what tends to happen is the more you watch it and the more you feel that heightened sense of pleasure, if you then five, six, seven, eight, nine hours later don't feel that same sense of pleasure, it keeps pulling you back in so that you remain on that playing field, like that kind of level playing field. Quite frankly, we don't need a porn addict. Do you know what I mean? The pressure it puts on women in general and women being seen as a sex object. Let me explain. There's the obvious that there are two people partaking in sexual activities in porn, but even within that, statistically speaking, women are generally more attracted to watching porn that involves two women than a man and a woman. They don't actually watch it for the idea of watching hot men have sex. They actually watch it for the idea of watching hot women have sex, how they respond to it. And there's just something about watching two women that people typically enjoy. The flip side of that is that men also watch it for the women. So all in all, 90 something percent of people that actually watch porn watch it to sexually fantasize, get their little babies knocked off to and turn themselves on over women. And that is from women to women and men to women as well. Now that exact same point is also a pro because what it allows women to do is take their mental state and their emotional state away for a little bit and imagine the pleasures that they would be feeling themselves. So it allows you to get into just like a nice airy fairy kind of vibe, just sitting there thinking my coochie gonna be feeling exactly the same when my man gets home. And we love a little bit of that. We love a little moment. It can sometimes in relationships also strengthen a bond. Something which I can't say has ever personally worked for me, but sometimes if you feel like you've explored enough within your sexual realm of your relationship, it allows the two of you to look at something else and be like, hmm, we've not actually tried that. Let's delve into that. Unlock just like that new little level, little like an onion, like peel back the layers and just add to it and unlock a new level of things you might enjoy. It allows you to have something to bond over and communicate about when it comes to being sexual and flirting, that if it's not just something that comes to you that easily, it will come to you a little bit easier now. It also helps people and women to express their sexuality more freely. I feel like it's something that, especially as a woman, we don't talk about enough. I feel like with men, it's very easy to be like, oh yeah, like I like when a girl does this and she's got to suck it like that and she's got to bend over like this for me. But I feel like with women, we don't sit there and be like, I like when a man licks like this, touches like that, gives me head like this, fucks me like that. Like we don't have those types of conversations comfortably anyway. It's very taboo, it's very like, oh, be careful what you say type of vibe. And what I appreciate and like and what is a pro of actually watching porn is that it allows you to have that just extra line of being able to communicate about it and express yourself more freely. If there's something you might be more hesitant about, it gives you that little bit of confidence watching someone else do it to be like, oh, I can do that as well. I'm a bad bitch. My legs can bend like that. And I know I look goddamn cute when I do it too. It allows you to kind of explore that little realm and break down the barriers of maybe nerves or being anxious. It also allows you to say to your partner when watching it, if it's alone or together, I saw this today and I like when she done that, we gotta try that. And it makes you feel like, you know what? I'm not alone in doing this. I've just watched someone else do it. That means that my man can do it and I can do it too. Cause why the fuck it just gotta be the porn stars? Why can't it be us? Why can't my coochie be in like that? Why can't I be folded like a pretzel? I can be folded like a pretzel. My body and my bones can bend in ways that you ain't never seen. It also helps normalize desires and fetishes, look, look, fetishes, Fe fetishes, <laughs> can't speak. Um, it helps normalize fetishes because there might be things that you might be sat there thinking, oh my God, am I the only person that's turns me on? 
you go on porn, you type in bada bing bada boom, this is what I want to look at and just like that, boom, you are done, you are well in. You realise that actually, this is pretty normal for a large bunch of people and therefore I am not weird, I am not an outcast and I am not alone. And in saying that with the whole idea of being an outcast, what I also love that it does is it normalises porn within different communities. The idea of maybe indie porn, queer, diverse, like there's so many different subsections and it allows every single person to have a place to feel comfortable when watching. Dangerous sometimes, you can get a little bit too comfortable, but it allows a person to feel comfortable when watching and that is something that I would 100% agree with and say is most definitely a pro. I can sometimes feel like men especially, but people are condemned for watching porn, like it's very much looked down on, like I feel like people look at you like, oh, you watch porn, what, your man can't turn you on, your woman can't turn you on. And actually it just adds like another depth and another layer. Like I've said, I personally am not someone that necessarily thrives from watching it. I don't really watch it and sit there and think, oh yeah, like this is it for me. It's just not something that really stimulates me. But I do feel like there is this thing within the society where we are looked down on, especially men for watching it. I feel like it is okay and acceptable to watch when you're in a relationship, as long as you communicate about it. I know that there are people that are like, watching porn is cheating because in theory, your man is literally masturbating over another woman. I feel like each relationship is different. If that doesn't work for your relationship, talk about it and find an alternative way. Maybe you watch it together. Maybe you no longer are okay to watch it, whatever the outcome is and vice versa. I feel like if you're single and you're doing it in your own time, live your best life, it is not something that everyone needs to know. And I feel like what I like is that it allows you to explore. Statistically speaking, I might be wrong, but I actually think the porn industry is potentially the only industry in the world where women get paid more than men. Jeez, collect your bag, my good sisters. You better get paid for having a cute little pussy. I've also heard, and I'm not sure how much, I'm not sure how true this is, but apparently, when filming, men obviously have to keep it up. Like they have to prolong their erection. They need to prolong their stimulation. But I've heard that with women, sometimes if they can't get wet or if they're not wet enough and if it doesn't suit the video, they just slap a little bit of like lube on or moisturizer to make it look like they are like really excited and really wet. And that's a really interesting fact to know. The only thing that I would say that really lets down people that are watching porn or just like just lets me down when it comes to porn is the lack of protection you see like and then again this goes back to the idea of it being anything relatable more like reality than just like what you're watching you don't really see many guys in a porn video like whip out a condom and be like honey i've got to protect myself don't really say that often which if you are someone that is really young and you are watching porn please 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 i know that they do not show you enough but please still protect yourself like that is serious that is very real you can catch things it can make you seriously ill it can prevent you from having kids in the future like it's a whole long list of scary things but please 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 just because in a porn video they might not use a condom does not mean that you do not need to protect yourself in real life. That doesn't even necessarily mean that it has to be that form of contraception. But please just know that it might not be heavily advertised there, but please still do it. That's the only thing I'd say is a downfall. Besides that, I think you should just live your best life. I'm gonna do a nice little in-depth conversation about toys and self-pleasuring and what each toy means, etc., etc., as well. But if you like watching porn, live your best life, I would just say don't expect for your sex life to completely mirror it. If it does, then you <laughs> honey, <laughs> bring me in. But if it doesn't, that is also okay. It's something to pleasure yourself from, to get an enjoyment from, to add layers and depth to your sexuality, to your relationship, whatever it is. Just don't have the expectation in the bar set so high because please remember that pornos are scripted. So that is about it. I love you guys. Oh, and also on the flip side of that, if you were someone that doesn't watch it, that is also okay. Do not feel pressured into watching it. Do not allow anyone to make you feel weird if you don't watch it. And yeah, let's get a conversation going in the comments. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed from me and my frizz bomb of a hair. I don't know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.